In previous tutorials, we did look on some properties of our trunk and we noticed the sum of them little bit different. So let's look a little bit closer. So we'll go click and open create trunk segment. And if you remember from previous tutorials, we look on all of this property segment and fluence. So if we're going and we'll create, for example, a branch segment, the branch segment, it's optimized. It's the same things as a trunk. And you notice right here between two of them, it just, we have it a little bit different settings. For example, we don't have it any root flares because for the branches, we don't need. And some other properties also disabled. So it's make more as real. If we're going to next, for example, we said twig segment, which has come from the branch. Notice when you create twig, it's look a little bit different. Even it's exactly the same from branch or twig. The difference is first, we are in a basic mode. We can click right there, switch to advanced mode. And you notice at this point, we have the same properties. So overall, think about the trunk, branch and twig. This is all is the same, just with the different presets. The reason why they on the side is make much easier and faster to create your plant without with the basic parameters without tweaking around. And we'll do this in an upcoming tutorial when we'll just go and do some basic stuff. Okay, so let's look next. One, we'll skip these ones, but I want to open the um, leaf. So let's go to geometry and open leaf. And you'll notice for the leaf, we actually have a different properties because the leaf, it is does not require some property same like a branch for example does not need it some segments and everything however a leaf does require some geometry that can have it and you can draw geometry by uh, right click with your mouse and you'll notice right here we have a geometry for the leaf so we can paint leaves direct okay so let's go back to our property and let's look a little bit closer on the leaf before we jump in so we have the same geometry we have it orientation that is fixed user defined or we can have it outward inward similar as we have it for the branches we have it mode single plane you also can have it cross plane or dual plane um, it's a depend how your leaves is going if the more as a flower looking or otherwise let me do it this way so we'll go right here select to our branch let's take our branch and actually select it to um, children. Okay. And now we'll can take our. Oops, let me go select this one. And you can see right here we have it. Our leaves. So if we're going now in proper of the leaf and for example, let's go switch to the to cross you can see how they're crossing around and if we switch to the three cross it now we have a little bit different shape so in this case if you want to do maybe flower or some other you can go and modify in a way you think it should actually display okay let's go back to our geometry single plane as a basic leaf okay next we also have a subdivision it's quality boost. We have it the angle. And right there we can just let's bend in kind of almost. And you can see how our leaves, they're not flat anymore. They have this little bit bending applied to them. And again, we can bend more invert. Zero or outward. Okay. We beside them with us, um, mid rib bending angle we also have it our curvature that we can also additional apply for the width and link and in some case maybe you want to bring leaves a little bit closer out notice again we have it everywhere as well we have the random variation that we can modify we also have it next options it is materials in which we can select already exist materials or create new or load it already created this is exactly the same as in other material sections 
We also have our leaf editor, so we can hook up on specific point. Currently, you can see the point is on the bottom, so we can adjust. And for example, we can move this point to opposite side of the leaf. And now our leaves is inverse. So you can change these points. Let's go just say on the side example. And there are our leaves on the side. This will help you to create a different type shape of leaves and align. And sometimes um, maybe you notice your leaf does not hang properly. Most likely the hook point does not set properly. Okay, we also have it to load materials if it already exists. A uh, color shift is allowed you to change a little bit on your plant hue, color for the leaves, luminosity and saturation. And you can do with a height. Example, if we have it, a fall tree and sometimes in a fall tree you maybe have it a little bit greenish on the top and red, yellow going. So you can also modify this saturation and lightness of the leaf based on the height of your plant. Okay, let's go to transformation. Um, this is, will be section very close to what we have in a branches or twigs or trunks. We have the wind properties, how much leaves affecting. And remember, leaves is more flexible, so you can adjust as well. Global scale, we can have it offset them from the branches, so you can make them floating around if you want it. And as well, rotation, taparism, and level of details as well. So this is all same basic. It's actually less that we have it in another. The main difference it will be what type of leaf we're using and a little bit on materials for the leaves.